It's your boy Marcus, aka Soaky today. This is on back again with another video, man. Stop with the games. Everybody ain't paid. Some people gotta work every day. Y'all charging for beats that sound okay. Give it snippets online and they all sound the same. Most of y'all niggas be riding away. So we'll go back, y'all. We'll get we'll back, back to the channel. We'll go back. So this time again, we have another very, very special workout video you already know what i'm saying the workout video y'all know about so get to fitness if you don't then you need to go find out you need to tap me and link down below i'll put it right here beside me so you can see it go follow the page go look it up go dm me about the workouts but ladies i know i had a couple females ask me marcus how do i get my butt right naturally what do i do in the gym to get my butt right i don't want to get big i just want to get my butt right ladies i got the workout for you. This is the personal booty workout that I made up, dipped and dabbled. I found it works for the people I work with now. They say they like it, something new that they tried, they want to pursue it, they want to keep going with it, they say it works. So, I figured I'd drop small gyms, small gyms, small gyms, small gyms. Now again, all my workouts are not free. These are the three pieces of it. If you want a workout plan, if you want a meal plan, or if any of my athletes out there want to get their speed up for whatever season, whatever sport they play, y'all got to DM me on So Get The Fitness. You got to DM me about the inquiries. I will not answer inquiries here. You have to go follow the page. You have to go tap it. That way I can help you out. That way I can help you reach your fitness goals. But without further ado, we gonna get right into the video, man. Again, this is another one I'm gonna talk over, and we gonna have another fresh beat by my guy Ty Jameer. Make sure I go tap in down below. Y'all already know at the end of the video, I always tell y'all anyway. But why not go right now? Go listen to some music. But again, about to get right into the video. So let go. All right, y'all. We back. We at it. So this is the booty buster. Um, as y'all know, we always like to start off with the abs. So you know what I'm saying. Get the crunches in. Um, I'm probably doing about 50 right here. I'm doing about 50 crunches right here. Um, so, you know, we always start out with these. Good way to get get it moving, get your core firing up, get your body firing up with the abs. Um, Danielle hopped right into the Russian twist, you feel me? Um, I did the Russian twist as well. You'll probably see that coming up in a minute. We do um, 15 of these. So, each side just count to 15. Actually, I've probably been doing 25. I believe I'm doing 25 of these because I've increased everything. So, about 25 of these each time. And then we also did um, the ball throws, but it was just two of us, so we couldn't record that. And that's literally where one person stands there and the other person throws the ball to the other person. They put it behind the head and go. So, here, um, the first part of the booty bust workout, yeah. She, they, they was trying to go hard. So, I had to put the cage. She's trying to go hard. But um, it's the squats. Um, on this machine, it works perfectly because what we normally like to do is do cat raises first, but we, we weren't available to do that. So we squat on this, you know what I'm saying? And then we go right into cat raises. So 10 and 10. Um, yeah, Daniel's using that, that nice form. But um, main thing is, ladies, when, you, when we're working on strengthening the butt, you want to do something that's going to make your glutes activate, you know? So uh, with this... As you can see, anytime you see the booty tightening up when we're doing these, we're working the glutes. So here, I'm literally working my glutes because I got to use my glutes to go down and come back up. And now the calf raises aren't essentially working the butt. But again, you want to strengthen your legs at all costs. So with the calf raises, you strengthen them calves. Look at them calves, baby. You know what I'm saying? Look at that. Ah, zoom in. Yep. Uh, don't don't look at the Nike and Adidas. I'm sorry about that. But um, yeah, you, you, you always, when you're working your butt, you want to do things that's going to make you really use your glute to the maximum ability that you have to you know so uh, we did three sets of these um and i believe we we're doing drop sets and drops is when you start off heavy and then you go down so yeah we were going our heaviest and then going down so on um, this worked perfectly for what we we're doing um personally on the women's side danielle loves this workout um because again uh she has struggled with like she said she was just uh, using the machines before so um, stuff like this is really just challenging her and pushing her body because what she wants to ultimately do is gain more muscle and she wants to be more toned. So these are the type of workouts that are going to give her that muscle and also give her that tone. So, And also for the athlete side or for the men's side like me, 
Uh, obviously, you need strong glutes to be able to compete at a high level. Um, if you're a basketball guy, you need those glutes to be able to dunk the ball, be able to get up. If you're a track guy, you need those glutes to be able to get out the blocks. Um, if you're a football guy, you need those glutes to be strong and stable so you can do your moves, so you can shift, so you can get up. So you generally need your glutes for everything. So this is why I tell fellas don't skip leg day. You definitely got to add in a glute workout because, like I said, without the glutes, everything explosive wise around the lower part of your body is going to be weak so we always try to incorporate the glutes um and as i said we did this three times ten so we just wanted to keep showing you guys and we're doing drop sets so like i said so if you see danielle's on one plate now and i believe i'm on a plate in the 25 so yeah go down each time and you know what I'm saying you do drop sets to really make you work and make you tire um we do drop sets in the beginning and then you do it at the end because it's going to make you really have to focus and pursue on the workout so next was um a new one that Danielle has never did is the Roman deadlifts um I haven't did these in a while so excuse the wait for my fellas uh, didn't want to go heavy off the jump but ladies this is a perfect butt workout if you see my butt and it's literally squeezing um that's what you want with this this is an excellent thing to get your butt right um here's danielle doing it and what you want to do is when you come up the top you want to squeeze it like she's doing there because then you're going to get the maximum amount of butt penetration penetration and then maximum amount of butt power so these are one of those workouts that's going to be great for the glutes also great for the legs as well so again as you can see you see I'm it's squeezing my butt at the top that means I'm working the glutes that means the glutes are getting in getting in what it needs to get in so I highly recommend this workout for all my ladies um, if you're looking for something new to try but especially if you're looking to really target and get your butt right this is how you do it and you know Danielle's doing great you know what I'm saying this is something new for her so and in the latter half, you don't have to go as heavy as she's going. You want to really just focus on form. Uh, she's doing good on the form, though, so there's no problem there. But again, you do want to make sure you're having proper form with this stuff because it will hurt your back, can't hurt your knees, stuff like that. So, And um, this is why we always try to work out in groups as well. You know, so you can motivate everybody and motivate each other. Yeah, she, she, she was heavy. It's her first top. <laughs> she, she said it was heavy. I had to drop the cat. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so we just talk about the weights over there. I'll probably cut that part out. Okay, back on it. Yeah, she took a break. It's a little heavy. But hey, that, that's what you want, though. You do want to push yourself in the gym. If you stay at the same way forever, you're going to be the same way forever. You, you, you got to push yourself and mentally focus. And that's what she did here. Yep, get it. Yep. Good. Good. There you go. See? There you, there you go. Now, it is okay to stop and keep going. I personally don't like to do it because for some reason when I do, I just be feeling more weaker. Um, but if you got to stop it, but if you got to stop between, stop, do what you got to do. You, you know? All right, so next we did, you know, the general lunges. Lunges are great. Um, I had terrible balance, so excuse me slipping and going to the right. But lunges are another great booty one, um, great stability one, great hip one. Overall, just just great for the lower body. You have to really focus, get your knees up. Um, again, this is a new one for Danielle, so you know, said it's, it's never gonna be perfect. But the fact is, she's doing it. So yeah, with these ones again, gripping the butt. If you see. On all of our workouts that are dealing with the butt, it's squeezing that butt. So look at me doing my lunges, squeezing, squeezing the butt, squeezing the butt, squeezing the butt. So that's what you want when you're doing these. You want to get workouts that are going to make you and force you to have to squeeze that butt and work the booty. All right, sorry about that pause, y'all. Johnny and Carby. But yeah, again, back on the lunges. Just explaining that again. The booty workouts are going to be the ones that are going to squeeze and force you to work that booty. So, again, lunges, great one. Working on everything balance as well. So, if you can't go to the squat wax. The squat racks. Oh, my God, I can't talk. Goblet squats is a perfect thing for you. Um, again, we start pretty much. You want to go heavy on these, as heavy as possible. 
Um, these are another one are great. I'd like to do them elevated. You could do them on the ground, but I like to do mine elevated. Kind of forced me. But as you can see, squeezing that butt. Most of these um, butt exercises, you do want to squeeze at the top because then it's going to maximize, you know what I'm saying, the butt penetration. And, oh, I just said butt penetration. <laughs> but it's going to maximize, you know what I'm saying, the, the, the butt forming. You know, it's going to maximize you using those butt muscles. So, we always like to squeeze at the top of these, go as low as you can, pop up. And you want to go heavy, heavy on these, like I said, because you really want to you really want to feel these. It's a great one. I love goblet squats. You know, so again, go down, squeeze, and you want to keep your elbows on the inside of your knees. You do not want your elbows on the outside of your knees. So every time I go down, definitely want to put those those elbows down inside the knees. And uh, go from there, man. Like I said, squeeze at the top, and you're good to go on these. Pretty, pretty, I wouldn't say pretty simple, but I mean, it's pretty standard. So, the way Danielle's doing it is she has her heel on the weights instead of the whole foot. You can also do that as well. Like I said, it's just up to you. I prefer the elevated way, but you know what I'm saying? She's going to do what she, you know what I'm saying? What you want to do. Do what you feel comfortable in the gym. That's what you need to do. As long as you're getting to work in, which she's still doing. So, getting that squeeze at the top, working everything. I mean, you, you, you can't beat that. All right, and now the final final one the baby the one we love so much is the drop set leg extension so with the drop set leg extensions ladies and gentlemen um again we're doing the drop set where you start at your heaviest and then go down low each time we're doing the drop set two sets of this four times so within that four times we're doing 10 leg extensions at first then six 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 and again you want to start at your heaviest weight and then go down from there so this is the first set um i only showed Dayel on this one um, just to show you, you're, you're tired at the end of the workout. This is really going to get those quads and those legs just looking right. So, um, as you can see, she's doing them each. And you would think it gets easier as you go down. It's going to get harder. It gets harder each time. It get, literally gets harder each time it goes down. So, yeah, I had to zoom in because that's the struggle phase. But she's killing it. Last set of this one. And like I said, it's leg extensions on the machine, so it, it, it's pretty standard. You, I don't think you guys really need too much instructions on this. Um, just try to... You want to kind of keep your head forward if you can. If not, do what you got to do to pull that bad boy up, honestly. So, last set, we hop right in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's all bad. But you see the quads, though? You see the quads? Look at the quads. Look at them. Come on now. You know, and we've been doing this for about two weeks, so... And you hear that yell in the background. She, 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 you know what I'm saying? She have your boy up. So, um, around this time, it's going to wrap up the workout video. Um, like I said, I'll be, I'll make sure to post the workout down below. Yeah, I was hurt. But, um, like I said, if you guys need any extra explanation, please feel free to comment down below or DM me on the Soul the Fitness page. I'm happy to help you guys. That's going to end the workout video from me. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, This video is not sponsored by Cold Water, but I am a co worker. Co core Water affiliate. I love Cold Water. Tastes good. Tastes awesome. I go get it. I use this one as my water bottle now that I'm finished with it, so you feel me? I go rock with it. But that was a nice workout. As you can see, man, all the workouts, like I said, are stimulating the butt. If you see that squeeze, the squeeze at the end, or if you can see it, that's how you know you're getting the proper work on your butt. Ladies, the only way to get that butt stimulated is to make sure that you do what you gotta do in the gym. Now, I can tap in. And give y'all the at home booty workout. If so, for some of my ladies that can't get to the gym, don't want to do the gym, you just want to do something at home. There is an at home booty workout that I have. But I got to hold y'all to the standard this time, man. I got to hold my people to the standard. If you want the gyms, I got to make y'all work for it. So without further ado and without stuff going down, for most of the workout videos that you guys want, I need 10 likes on this video. I need at least 10 likes on this video. Once I get 10 likes, I will drop the at home booty workout for you guys. If I don't get 10 likes on this video, I'm gonna just assume y'all don't want it. I'm gonna skip to something else. 
But if you do want the at-home booty workout, because like I said, I know a lot of you guys can't get to the gym or you just really don't have time to be paying for a gym membership, I got y'all. But I need something in return. I need the 10 likes. You feel me? I need the 10 likes. So I get the 10 likes. I got y'all. But um, remember, man, every time you're in the gym, just make sure you guys are focusing. Make sure you guys are pumping yourself up. And remember, ladies, fellas, anybody out there, do not compare yourself to anybody when it comes to working out. If you compare yourself to people, you will always slow down your process. Why? Because everybody's body is different. Everybody has different functions. Everybody has different different things. I'm a candy lover. I love candy. All right? I just can't get rid of it. I like to eat candy. But I find ways to still get my workout in. I find ways to still make sure I get my health in. Now, I don't eat candy every day, of course. I've chopped it down a lot since I've been in school and I was an athlete. But again, it's something I like. So everyone has their own quirks. Everyone has their, you know what I'm saying, things that kind of slows them down. But again, you cannot compare yourself to someone. I know a lot of females that love, see people on Instagram, these Instagram models. And, oh, I want to be like her. Don't try to be like somebody else. Be like you. Find what you like and work towards that goal. Because once you accomplish it in the gym, once you accomplish it at uh, a home workout, you straight. You straight. You know what I'm saying? So don't compare yourself. Don't, don't compare yourself. Guys, too, don't compare yourself to no dude. All right. Excuse me. That was nasty. Don't compare yourself to no dude. Be you. Be yourself. You know what I'm saying? Work towards your girls. Work towards something that you can achieve. Forget anybody else. Because you're not going to the gym for somebody else. You're going to the gym for you. So why not do and shape it around what you want to do? I'm dropping, dropping salt, dropping dimes. Dropping dimes. That's why I am. It's a penny, but I'm dropping dimes for y'all. You know what I'm saying? But that is going to be the end of this video, guys. Uh, like I said, it's, I want to say it's like 10 here. I'm sitting there editing the video as I go. Um, this is pretty much the last part of the video that I have to edit. So, um... Like I said, guys, again, I will honestly tell y'all to go follow the fitness page. So get the fitness. DM me, man, if you guys want to start your fitness journey. I can't talk to you guys. I can get you through it. Remember, everything ain't free, but still, you know what I'm saying? Everything, quality comes with a cost. You know what I'm saying? Quality comes with a cost. And I can get you guys right. I can get you guys the body you need. I can do, I'm in Vegas, so I can do meetups, whatever you got to do. But I can also do a virtual training session if you guys need it. Just DM me. But you gotta go to the show, get the fitness page, DM me, follow me, make sure you follow me. I'm gonna start posting all my little workout stuff on there, all my little workout gyms on there, all my daily workouts on there. So make sure y'all follow in the page. And again, if y'all want the at-home booty workout, I need 10 likes on this vid. You know what I'm saying? And I need you guys to like, comment, and subscribe on this vid as well, as well as the show, get the fitness page. And comment down below what's the favorite part of the workout. Comment down below some of your goals and fitness. Maybe we can chat, maybe we can get it in. You know what I'm saying? Like. Whatever y'all need to do, just make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe to the video, share with your friends, tell a friend of a friend, get it cracking. All the music that I use in this video is from my guy, Taj Amir. If you're not listening to Taj Amir, you need to get on it. I got the Josh Amir gym playlist, and we be in there like, huh, getting in, in the gym. So, man, make sure y'all go tap into my guy, Taj Amir. But without further ado, I'm going. Y'all have a blessed and wonderful rest of the day, night, wherever you at. Do your thing, follow your heart, and remember, don't compare yourself to nobody. All right, Produce a pun that fail me. Some of you beat makers make the real ones with originality look weak. Stop crying when you sell a beat for 330, then the artists make one mil cause you was being impatient and cheap.